Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a little project for you today. First, I'm going to be quickly flipping through this stack of printable pages. I received these from Artful Era Gallery. They're on Etsy and on Instagram. Be sure to check them out in both places. I will try to remember to link them down below. Um, they reached out to me asking about doing a collaboration and they were very kind and let me kind of just look through their Etsy shop and pick whichever bundle that I really wanted. You'll see some of these I actually printed out twice, but um, anyway, I'm flipping through here really quickly because the bundle that I selected was the Vintage Mega Bundle. It has over 300 pieces. It's 70 pages. It was a lot of items in here, and part of the reason that I picked it was because of these pages you'll see coming up near the end, which are these beautiful cabinet, like reproduction cabinet cards. And uh, I just thought they would be perfect for a project that I'm working on. That's these right here. And um, with these just lovely images. And so I chose this one. There's so many versatile pieces in this kit and I am really excited to be using it. So you'll probably be seeing me use this a lot off and on over you know, the next few projects I have doing junk journals and everything. But what I'm going to be doing today is just creating some pieces that can go in a journal that I'm working on currently. I have a uh, travel theme journal that I'm working on. And so I have that sort of in mind as I'm working through here and keeping everything really, really neutral with some blues and some greens because that matches the journal that I'm working on. So I started out with this big 12 by 12 piece of paper. This is actually some old scrapbooking paper that I have that looks like parchment. And I thought this would be really good um, because I didn't have any, obviously I don't have card, uh, coffee dyed paper that's this size. Um, but I thought this would be a good way to sort of create some tags and some journaling cards and different things that I could use that would then have this beautiful parchment on the back and then that would be a great writing space. So I am starting out, I just am tearing everything down. I'm using my ruler to do that. I'm not being concerned about whether some of the edges are straight or rough or cut or whatever. Some of them I'm tearing, some of them, this music paper actually was just floating around on my desk and it was really annoying to me. So I just I just tossed it in here. I don't know where it came from. Just a little scrap that was like floating around on my desk. Uh, so I just glued that down. But the rest of it is all of this printable. There is actually some music paper in the printable as well. Um, but I'm basically choosing from the pages. Different things that have like just different sort of scripty fonts. Different sort of tech like you know visual textures. Some bigger fonts. Some smaller. Some like just you know all of the different kinds of handwriting and different things and then choosing some very neutral papers some that are you know maybe more of a yellow some that are more cream colored or whatever just trying to get a good variety and I'm also not putting these necessarily all facing the same direction in fact I purposely put things sideways and upside down whatever that way when I go to cut this I'm going to blind cut this master board and so I, w um, I want to be able to just make sure that whenever everything's cut I can use it and it will I don't have to worry about things being one particular direction I like things all different directions when I'm doing a collage master board like this I will say I am using a glue, a Yuhu glue stick. That is my preferred method for doing collage master boards because it's really important when you're doing something like this that you are getting glue all over the entire back of the piece, which is why I don't use a liquid adhesive for this process um, unless I'm using something like a matte medium, but I didn't want to do that because I'm working with printables. So um, sometimes the ink can smear and stuff when you're doing it that way. So that's why I'm using a glue stick and I prefer the Yuhu glue stick for this. Like I said, um, it's just really strong, good adhesive. And then what'll happen is that way when I cut it, I'll just know that all of the pieces are stuck down versus if you're just kind of trying to glue around the edge of a piece with a liquid adhesive, then you trim it and then you may cut off piece that doesn't have any adhesive behind there, if that makes sense. So um, I just find this to be the best way to do this. You can see I also have some little ledger pages from the printables that I'm putting here. And you can kind of see there's still little pieces of the parchment kind of piece through. I will try to get all of those covered up, um, but it was kind of proving to be a little bit difficult. Sometimes I couldn't see where there was some sections left uh, just because it all blended together so well. So, um, But basically, I got everything glued down. You can see I have things different different shapes, different sizes. I did try to include some that had like an image or a stamp or a seal or something on it just for a little 
added interest in there and then um, just gluing everything down. This was one of those pieces that um, I wish I could have pulled up, but the Yoohoo glue stick, it's a good glue stick. So um, I did have a few things that were kind of hanging off of the edge. So I just went around with my scissors and trimmed those up before I did the blind cut on this just to make sure that I had nice clean edges on everything. And then um, I'm going to go back through and add just a little bit more interest and a little bit more color now. And I'm still using all of these same printables from this kit from Artful Era. And I just pulled out some of the like travel, like tickets, different things. And in those blue and green colors, again, because I have in mind for these to go into a journal that I'm currently working on right now. Um, so I did see one little spot here that I missed but that was some exposed parchment, so I just added those up. So these are the pages that I'm going to be using, um, pulling out some of these like train transit tickets and just different things. I'm not really concerned about what those are because I'll still probably put like focal images and that kind of stuff on the tags, but I did want to make sure that I just had some color. So you can kind of see just spread it around and then now I'm going to do the most fun part but I think is the most fun part which is the blind cut of it I personally like doing this blind uh, it just takes out all of the thinking and you just don't overthink it this way I knew I wanted to create some tags so I'm making this first cut at roughly three inches and then um I needed to go over this a couple of times. I think my blade is a little bit dull. And then also I'm dealing with several layers of paper here. So, um, and then I'm gonna do another set at three inches just so that I have, you know, the tags and things that I want. And then that obviously is going to leave me with a six inch um, piece here. And then I wanted to create a row of pockets. So I cut these at four inches and then that's gonna leave me that two inch strip um, that I will actually use for belly bands. So here, these are the ones that I am planning on making some small pockets. The journal that I'm working on is not super huge, so I don't want really large pockets. So these are gonna be like four by three. I have four of them, obviously. And then I have these long strips that are three inches wide. I'm gonna make those into tags. So I decided to make these, um, I think four and a half, five inches tall um, and then that leaves me just a little bit left over that I can use for a cluster or tuck spot or I can collage them onto something else down the road. Um, not too worried about those two little inches there um, and then I'm just going to make this last cut here and then I will show you everything um, the way that it ends up looking. This is like the, the reveal is always the most important part. This is that long strip that ends up being like two by 12 inches so I just cut that in half again that will end up being a side tuck or belly band or something like that so um, these are the two little extra pieces like I said those could be a cluster or whatever um, these are the ones that are going to end up being tags these two are the belly bands and these are my little pockets so I am going to just really quickly finish these out the way that I have them in my mind right now. Um, so I have this We Are Memory Keepers um, punch that punches the angles of the tag shape. If you don't have this, you can certainly do it with scissors. Just cut off the angle and then you save that little piece that you cut off, flip it over to the other side and trim it and that will give you a symmetrical cut on there or use a tag that you have as a template all kinds of different ways. You can even take a credit card and make your own template. Um, lots of different ways. I just happen to have the punch. so. I'm going to do that for those and then these little rectangles I'm taking my really large circle I can't remember how big that is but it's probably two inches at least and just cutting a notch out of the top of them so that I remember that these are supposed to be pockets although I could have made them into journaling cards as well but at, in my brain I, I needed pockets for my journal so that's the way that I went with them and then one of the things I like to do with my pockets is I like to round the top corners I just think it makes it look a little bit more finished again not something that's necessary I have a punch for this so I'm going to use that as well just makes things go quicker um but anyway so I all in all I ended up with four pockets I ended up with I think it's four tags two tuck spots or belly bands and then two little extra cluster pieces so um it will work great in my journal be sure to check out the artful era gallery on instagram and on etsy like i said i'll link them down below and be looking for more projects from this kit for me if you like this video i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time bye